Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today our question comes from uh, Damien, he's KO4NSR, and he asks about fan dipoles, and uh, he is building a fan dipole, and they work just fine. Um, he says, can you do the same thing with a vertical to get a multiband vertical? And so what he is, is proposing is something that looks like this, some sort of a plate at the bottom. And here's a wire for 40, here's a wire for 20, here's a wire for 10. And you've got the other wires uh, for the in-between there. This connects to the inner conductor and then you've got radials out here for the thing. And the answer is yes, that can work. You are describing the DX Commander the antenna. Okay, the classic, so-called classic. Let's look at it on the screen over here. Um, it's not DX Commander. Uh, we'll look up DX Commander right here because it's actually m0mcx.co.uk okay and the antenna um, that we're looking at is the so-called classic um, here's a, a classic let's see they're all the millions of different uh, ones I think this is the one I bought it's like this um, and uh, you can't see it. What you're looking at is the mast, which you can't see are the wires uh, going up in there. There are plastic spacers that keep them apart and so on. Okay. So, yes, you can build a fan vertical. Uh, the only commercial fan vertical that I know of is the DX Commander. Now, we tested one of those, and we've got more tests to do, but its ground is covered with snow. Um, we tested one of those. Uh, at first, I, uh, the antenna obviously works. I had no question that it would work. So I gave it to a neophyte to see if a neophyte could put it together. That was version 1.6 of the instruction manual, uh, which is not very good. And he was unable to really do anything with it, even after watching several videos. So I gave it to Callum, my Callum, different Callum. Um, Callum McCormick's the one who made the antenna. And Callum Jakeman is my assistant. I gave it to him with version 1.8 of the instructions, which is the current version. And he was able to get the thing up and functional. Okay, we didn't do everything exactly right. So we're going to go back through it in the spring when the snow melts away and put that up. I also received a really nice cobweb antenna from somebody, but there's snow everywhere. I don't have a place to put it together. Anyway, the um, thing that Callum discovered was that the new instruction manual 1.8 got us to the point where we got the antenna up and it works and it works fine. Okay. And it is a fan vertical. And yes, a fan vertical works very well. Um, Callum McCormick has quite a variety of antennas um, doing different things. He's very prolific on YouTube also. Um, but we got the, the classic version and it works fine. So can you duplicate that? Yes, of course you can. The problem is one, the mast, okay, and two, keeping the wires separated from each other so you don't get too much capacitive coupling between them. Okay, and uh, now the fan dipole for the horizontal uh, antenna should work just well. Okay, I also want to build the vertical, but I don't want to have to keep moving the tap point. You don't need to move the tap point at all. You've got uh, here uh, your uh, some sort of 33 foot long pole holding things up okay and then these are all open at the end so there's I'm gonna I'll draw it in orange here there's a pole 
holding all of this up, okay? And you tune each one individually as needed, okay? And the radials, uh, we did um, a bunch of 10-foot radials and it worked just fine. You could make fewer 15-foot radials, whatever. Uh, Callum McCormick supplies um, wire. You can buy a, a version of this with extra wire so you can make more um, radials and so on. There's a plate with wing nuts for the radials and so on. So it's all there. It's all wire. This is not a terribly expensive commander or a very expensive antenna. It's about 250 pounds, okay? So you're going to have to pay that, and then it will be shipped to the USA. It doesn't take very long. I don't know if Cormac has a um, integral USA shipping point or, or what he may have. Okay, now that uh, commander antenna a lot of people misunderstood what I was evaluating. I was evaluating the instructions, not the antenna. I know the antenna works. Um, and people didn't understand that. And uh, version 1.16 of the instructions, which I have right here. This is version 1.16. These, uh, my neophyte failed at and version 1.8 my neophyte eventually succeeded got it up and got it operational okay now one of the common complaints was that I didn't have them view the videos even though I said they viewed the videos so if you think they didn't view the videos watch very closely watch my lips they looked at the videos, lots of videos, okay? Videos, they looked at them. They also read the instructions. Callum was able to get it up, guide, operational, and uh, we tested it and it worked fine. So there are a couple little build issues that do not affect the performance of the antenna. Uh, we'll get them fixed in the spring when the weather is a little warmer. It's not too bad today. It's 55 out, which means the snow is slush. But um, there you have it. So that's, uh, you know, Callum McCormick um, is a genius in applying the idea of a fan dipole, which has been around for a gazillion years, and applying it to a vertical. I do not know of any other manufacturer that makes a fan vertical. Okay, it's so conceptually simple. And you note that the dollar price here, which would be about $300, is much less than, say, an AV640 or um, one of those antennas like that that covers the same bands. So something to think about. So uh, until we next meet, 73.